Hello. Uh, my name is Fernando. You can call me Fer. <laughs> I have a Chinese name because I live in China, so my Chinese name is Fei Fang. <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, I live in China, actually, because I'm doing a master there in diplomacy. Uh, quite interesting for me. I'm the opposite side of the world, literally. <laughs> uh, very nice. And, but I was born in Argentina, a country that has tango, uh, <laughs> that has nice food, beef, barbecues, all. And economical up and downs, political struggles. We like to discuss because we are really passionate about, about everything, because we can also discuss our football. Uh, Sadly, the modern history, it's kind of tough, really difficult for us. Um, we, we have been in different military coups uh, in, the in the 30s, 50s, 60s, and the 70s. Uh, sadly, also, uh, one of my, my grandfathers um, was a political leader, democratic and peaceful leader, and, well, he got arrested, not once, not a few, but several times, into jail because he was a political leader. And he claimed that the violent military, military junta it wasn't the way to build a country. Um, in my hometown, Salta, the north part of Argentina, uh, I was uh, living in my neighborhood that my mother, and my cousins, my aunts all live near, next to each other, in front, around. Uh, it was lovely because I can go to have dinner with my aunt and then go out with my cousins. So we are surrounded by, by family. Then I get into my university, hearing those kind of stories of my grandfather and the persecution that has to suffer my family because of that, and start to realize, like, also my neighborhood, the Argentinian neighborhood, it wasn't so peaceful. Uh, the most important threat that we had in, in those times, it was Chile. Uh, the neighbors, that we shared food. We shared the same passion about football. We share culture, la language, and I really didn't, couldn't, couldn't understand about why my neighbor hate me or I should hate my neighbor, because I was, my neighborhood was my, my family, so I couldn't hate them, so I really, but start to ask, that's the word, I ask, I try to criticize that, that thought and that myth, and I want to, to really destroy that myth of hating your neighbor. Um, when my grandfather had to suffer all those kind of things, I had to, I was thinking about hating someone who, who kidnapped <coughs> my grandfather. It was the military, and I, I tried to avoid that, but I hated, I hate militars. He was a nice man. Why? Um, I criticized. I start to ask myself and my family um, and my country. Long time ago, I decided to um, destroy the myth of hating the neighbor, hating the militars. So I try to understand more. I study then with militars in Argentina, and then I moved to Chile. Mm, the enemy, the historical enemy. I moved to Chile and studied with militars in Chile, Mil Chileans militars. So it was a lot of combined things I had to face, but I really wanted to face because I wanted to destroy the myth. Uh, and I lived with them in a, in a military acad academy there in Chile. Uh, I drink with them, I share my thoughts, I share my thesis, my articles, we share points of view, um, something happened. Something was created between us. We, having, we built something with each other. And I started to change my points of view. 
started to stop hating, started to understand. And <coughs> of course, I have to say this, we, you cannot build future with impunity. In Argentina, with all those kind of things happened with my grandfather, and it's a one example, little example of many. In Argentina, we nowadays put in prison all the high-ranking militaries that was involved in that part, that the violent people they were. They are in prison. Some of them, they die in prison. And there, is a, there are a lot of uh, steps that can, can build peace, and impunity has to rem be removed from the way. Uh, trust has to be built. That's why I hate militants, but I want to build a trust, uh, build a bridge between us. I studied with them, and now I can understand. We can shift that hate to a more understanding uh, relation. Uh, with Chile, I lived in Chile, now we can shift those kind of things because I want to show them that we can build something. But I want to show me that I wasn't so difficult, I wasn't, uh, they weren't so opposite at, at, at me. I wanted to show me also that we can do something about this. I wanted to show my people in Argentina that we don't have to be so separate. Nowadays, Argentina and Chile has a combined peacekeepers force. Two militaries, historical opposite, have been w uh, working with each other, building strategic uh, dynamics, uh, a lot of things about going abroad to, uh, to build peace around the world. Two historical enemies started to work Nowadays, with Brazil, we are building the new uh, peacekeeping force. And I don't want to say force because I want to say group. Because two militaries and, and professionals are building now this group, peace builders, that can go abroad. So our neighborhood started to change, start to shift from hating each other to a more understanding. I can go to Brazil now and enjoy a pleasant dinner with my colleagues or with some militaries and talk about peace and that's it. That's the thing. Nowadays, because of... Uh, I can, my, my grandfather and my grandmother had to suffer that. I can go and protest and I like protest. <laughs> I have been going around the world doing protest. And I go to protest and say my, my ideas, claim my rights, without getting into jail. There are some steps. I think just to show, I, th I always say like, South America can show some nice things around the world, besides tango and salsa. <laughs> but not only to see Europe as a, as a, a great uh, continent, there are a lot of parts of the world that are building beautiful things, that are building peace. South America can show you a little of that. Some peace, understanding, and some ways. We are doing the steps, and we are doing it. That's it. That's my story. Thank you.